Once you're signed into Business Importer app, go to Import To tab, click Upload a file to select the file from your computer, or insert the Dropbox or Google Drive link. Our templates are, are available here. In case you have several sheets in one file, make sure you've selected the one needed. In the drop-down with QuickBooks entities, make sure you select the one you need for the import. In this case, it's a journal entry. And now the mapping itself. You are to connect the column headings from your import file in those drop-downs to the provider labels on the left-hand side, which are the QuickBooks fields. Now I'll show you, here they are, the column headings from the file. And you're mapping those you need like this. In case you use the template file, all the fields will be pre-mapped for you. Once you've done with the mapping, you can insert the name of it to use it for all subsequent imports. And also use Mapping Helper on the right-hand side to see which QuickBooks fields you usually utilize. Hit Next to see the preview of your file. Note that it differentiates between several journal entries based on the journal entry number. Also make sure your entries are balanced. Once the synchronization is finished, you can click the link inside of the app to open the transaction on your QuickBooks end and make sure it looks good. Here it is. It's balanced. Also, you can see both of the journal entries right here under the recent transactions in QuickBooks. But in case something looks bad, you can always revert the import like this, specifying the reason of it. And once it's reverted, it's erased from your QuickBooks.